Hello friends, how you doing today? Welcome to my channel. This is Sherry and uh, my channel is Turquoise Dreaming. So welcome to my craft room today. I'm working on a journal and so we did the uh, we did the cover last Monday as far as the front and today I want to work on the inside. So uh, I said during that video, which was last Monday, like I said, uh, that I wanted to complete this in a week. So I wanted to say right off here that I have been working on this and videoing my progress during the week. And I fully intend to, I fully intend to complete this in a week, but my videos may be behind because I have other videos to do this week. I, after I did that video, I was like, oh, I have to do this on Tuesday. I have to do this on Wednesday this week. So this week was taken up with uh, prior commitments so uh, yeah this may be done and in my shop by the time you see this video if you want to check it if you're interested check my shop and if it is actually I'll put a link below to the listing if it is in my shop uh, and if it's not there either I didn't finish it or it's already sold so that's just a little little information but let's get started because I want to get a lot done so, um, if you remember from the first video, since it's a, a week ago, I'll remind you, uh, I started with a, a white envelope that I got in the mail at work, but I loved this inside part here, the security, uh, pattern here, it's just a regular blue, but I, it's just, I, you know, you don't often see them on the bigger envelopes. It's usually the smaller envelopes. So I saved it. And I didn't know what I was going to do with it. And then I was looking for a base for this journal. It's wallpaper here. And uh, I was like, and then I found that envelope. I was like, oh, I have this envelope. That's right. Let me let me use it. Because I was going to use <clears throat> file folder, which I've used before. But um, I, I saw the envelope. And I was like, yeah, let's do an envelope. The envelopes are fun. And I'm trying to leave these pockets here. Leave these as pockets. So let's get started, like I said. So I intend on putting a uh, wallpaper on the inside too. And I have this piece left from the outside wallpaper. So I'm kind of going to piece it together here and cut it on right now today with you all. And so you can craft along with me if you're making a journal or whatever you're making, right? Just get out your whatever you're making or do whatever you want during this video. That's what I do. And let's do, uh, let's work on this journal. So... I'm going to cut it. I want to do this exactly right here. So I'll try to get it exactly right to fit on here. So let me grab a pencil. I might actually have to make a pencil mark here. I think I'm going to cut right there. And then this piece, this bottom piece, I should be able to put over here. Okay, and I'm hoping to have enough left for pockets. <laughs> so we're going to see. We are going to see. I have plenty of other things to use for pockets, but I kind of wanted to use this for pockets. So let's see how we do. Okay, this I've got, I didn't, I just cut right here. Cut it off right here like that. So I have a little something here I need to cut off. So I'm going to cut that even. Make that just an even uh, cut here. So, yeah, there we go. So I hope that um, you all are having a, a little time to craft today or do something that is fun, not just work, work, right? Not just work, work, work. <laughs> so let's see. I'm going to place that there before I glue it down. I'm going to sew on this too, but I want to get this figured out first. So let me see. I need um, this much. If I want to make pockets, I need this much space. And I don't have to be real deep, but they do have to be that much all the way across pretty much so that would be from here to here so if I did that I might let's see so if it goes hold on let me let me make a let me make another pencil mark <laughs> where's my pencil right here that'd be about right there And right, let me move it over here. About right there. Oh, I can't see there. So about right there. Uh, something like that. So then I would have this 
Would that be enough to cover? No, I need this whole. All right, so we're going to still work on it. We still might be able to get pockets out of this, but I'm going to have to do this first. Okay. Now I know. Okay, let me erase that little pencil mark. I should have made it on the other side, right? Yes, I should have. <laughs> Hello. Okay, so now I'm going to, let's see. I'm trying to figure out. i got to figure out the length here. Let me put it beside it here. Like this, I'm gonna cut. I want this to be exact, so I don't want to waste any of this wallpaper. It's the only piece of this design that I have. I just had one, one big like. Oh, I don't know what are those sizes. They're a big square. <laughs> like I don't know, they're bigger than twelve by twelve. Okay, so about right there, I'm gonna cut, and that won't quite fit into my paper cutter. So let's let's fold it like. Hmm. Again, I don't want to waste my paper cutting it where I don't need to cut it, right? So, uh, let's see. I cut my pa my bottom line is there. And my side line, let's see, this comes over. And this can overlap a little bit. doesn't really need to overlap a whole lot because I'm going to put fabric in the middle. So, let me get my line straight here. Here. And then up here, I need to cut this piece off. And that will be right about, well, I can fold this one. How about that? Right there. Okay, let's cut that off. Yeah, I think I can cut that off and be safe. And then I can have all this to do something, make pockets. Okay, so right, right there. Oh, scary. <laughs> okay, yeah, I do have a lot left for pockets. They just won't go all the way across like I was thinking I might do. And then here's my other piece for the side of the that inside cover. Let's cut that. And this is not too useful, but it, and it has that little piece there. Maybe, we'll see. Maybe not. Okay, so this, I figured, from what I see, this has an up or down, up and down, so... I think it goes like more like this. There's my pencil mark on this piece. Let me erase that. Yeah, it comes off. Good, good. Pretty much. <laughs> Pretty much comes off. Okay, so I'm going to glue that there. Let me see if I want this under or over. Glue that there. Or do I want it over? It probably doesn't matter, like I said, because I'm going to put fabric in the middle. I think I actually like it, maybe like it that way better. Let's see. It goes over right to the middle. Yeah, I'm going to have fabric right here, right in the middle. Okay, well, let's do this. Let's glue this down with some fabric tack. Get, get, get something going here because I want to, like I said, uh, under the videos for this, like I said, I'll if it's already done, I will list it. I will link a listing, link the listing, but I will <clears throat> keep putting video, you know, keep um, up posting my videos where I worked on this. I just have a feeling that's going to happen, so that's why I'm telling you <laughs> that I think I'm going to get ahead of myself here. So, that is how it is sometimes. And it's kind of nice to be ahead of yourself and not behind yourself. <laughs> right? If you know what I mean, it's kind of nice to be ahead and not behind. Be ahead of the game. Keep up with things is what I mean. Yep. It is. It really is. I, I'm that type of person. I would rather be ahead than behind of myself. I guess most people are, aren't they? Some people don't care, I know. But some people, most people care. And they're still be, and they're behind, so. And everybody gets behind to eat. And I do too, so. Usually I'm doing my videos the night before I have to post them. So, and I say that in my videos, like this was Friday night and this is for tomorrow, <laughs> type of thing. But this is uh, not for. This is a week ahead before I'm going to post this video. So, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. I'm ahead. Okay, so that is on there. I might have to clip a little bit down here. See, it's going over the edge. Let's get this piece down. So this is pretty delicate, kind of springy looking, uh, you know, wallpaper. And like I said in the first video, I had gotten this together 
uh, before, way before spring. I was going to do it. I don't know. I'm thinking it was not even three months ago. Not even. It could have been six months ago. It could have been longer than that. I don't know. I should put a date on these things when I put it together, right? And then I can know how long they've been sitting. Okay, here we go. I think that's enough glue on that piece. I've got it, what I call, what I'm calling upright. Put it up in the corner there and get it all nice and even up here. And then I have, if I have to trim any off, it'll be, I'm going to try to get right over to the side edge. And if I have it to trim any off, it'll be off the bottom. Hey, doesn't that look pretty? It's really pretty wallpaper. And that really, with two layers of wallpaper and two layers of the envelope, it, it makes for a real nice uh, sturdy cover. You know how thick wallpaper is. So let me see if I have any sticking over here on the bottom. Let me push this down. Make sure everything's good. Okay, I think I thought I had a little bit to take off the bottom here. Uh, I, I do. I guess I can go ahead and do that. It's so thin. It's like, you know, I almost just want to leave it, but I think I probably should cut it off. So let's do that. It's so thin. It's just a sliver. Not even a sliver. <laughs> it's like nothing. I'm cutting off nothing here pretty, pretty much. But it's a little, it's a little sliver of a sliver. Okay, there we go. Now, any more? Okay, I think we are good. Okay, yes, I am happy. <laughs> so, next, uh, my extra. So next, I want to go ahead. See, I like to sew everything together at one time. So, I'm going to go ahead and see if I can make some pockets here. Let's see what I want to do. Pockets first, I think, and then we'll do the fabric for the spine. So let's see. This is uh, this is upright. What I'm calling upright because I like the flowers are going. See how they're going up? That one's going down a little bit, but most of them are going up this way. So uh, let's see. Let me cut the words off. I want to see exactly what I have to work with here. Cut those words off, numbers and words and things from the manufacturer. And then uh, this little piece, I'm going to cut that off and cut a straight line here on this side. And I'll see exactly what I have to work with. I have that right there. And I'm going to save this little piece. You never know when a piece, little piece of wallpaper will come in handy. So I don't need this. I'm not going to have it this big, but I would like to. Let's see. How can I do this? I guess. Hmm. You know what I can do? Yeah, this will work. This will totally work. I think I'm going to cut it about right here. I'm just going to go for it. I'm not going to even think about it too much because I don't want to take up too much time here. So I'm going to cut that right there. And this will be for over here. See how nice that fits right there? It goes right up to this, pretty much up to the spine. The spine's about right here. And I don't need it to go all the way up there either because the fabric's going to go there. And I have this big piece to put for the front. So there's two pretty flowers right there. I think I'm going to cut right there. Let me make it the same, the same height. Tiny, tiny pencil mark right here. A little dot so I can see where to cut. Yeah, right there. Okay. A little tiny dot. I'll be cutting that dot, dot off so <laughs> I won't even have to erase it. I'm going to cut the dot off. <laughs> Slice it right down the middle so you won't even see it anymore. So I have this left too. So this will go over here. Now I need to cut it in a way that it looks nice and the fabric doesn't cover it. So let me get my fabric ready because I need to see what that exactly is going to cover. So this is a vintage sheet. And I think I'm going to go for the torn. But right now I might put some trim later. But right now I'm going to put um, a piece that is... Let's see. Let me see what one and a half inches is. I think two inches would probably be good. Yeah, I think two, two inches is about right there. So let's cut right there. Or we're going to tear, actually. Okay, about right there. Okay, and I've got a, got a little hem here I've got to cut through on this side. Okay, we'll see how far that goes. 
but doesn't wrap all the way around, I'll have to cut another piece because this is all I have of this right here. So I don't really have a piece that's any longer. I'm going to have to cut this little, I guess, yeah, I think I'll cut this hem off. There's a little hem right here. Let me see if I can wrap it because that would look prettier. Yeah. Okay. Now let me pull off the strings. I'm probably going to, uh, I'm going to definitely sew around this spine too. And so, and I don't want, this is a sheet and you can, can you see how you can see through it? You can kind of see my fingers through there. Can you see that? I think you can probably see that. So I'm going to use, uh, I think I'm going to use some art glitter glue so it doesn't quite show through, hopefully. All right, so do I have all the strings? Here's another one here. Let me look carefully. I mean, I can pull them off later, but it would be better to pull them off now. Okay, I think that's good to go. Let's see how far it goes. Here's another string. Hold on. Yeah. Okay, so these aren't glued on yet. I'm going to put this to the side and see how far this wraps around. Keep your fingers crossed. Will it wrap all the way around? Oh, my goodness. Wow, did I look out or what? See how pretty that is with the this right here, the purples and the greens? Yes all coming together <laughs> so I think uh, yeah I want to put the pockets on well let me just um, it's gonna be something like this let's see how it's gonna be this is what I wanted to let me see what's gonna fold here make sure I have this in the right place so it's gonna be about right there about right there let's get it wrapped around so let's let's do that one more time I want this right in the middle of the fold there, of course. So about right there. It's crooked. Every time I say it's going to be right there, it's crooked. So I'm trying to get it straight. Okay. I think it's going to go right there. All right. Let's leave that there. And then I can see my pot where my pockets need to go. And then I'll do all the sewing at one time. So see, I don't, I need to, uh, and I like the pockets to be open on this side. It just makes for a nicer, I don't think that's a pencil mark. I'm probably going to put some kind of little trim or something at the top here. Uh, but to decorate, like rick rack or something, lace, something like that. But I like the pockets to be open. It just makes it easier to get things in and out as if, and instead of like gluing it down all the way around. If it's open over here, it lets you get things in and out easier. So... I think I'm going to start here and cut a little, about right there, I'm trying to keep my finger, a little kind of triangular shape out here. See, and that'll fit into that corner nicely. Let me see how far it goes under the fabric though. Yeah, I think I might need to cut it a little bit farther over. A little bit farther over, like just a hair up here, but down here, not so much of an angle, a little bit less of an angle. So, about right, so let me get that out of there. About right here, and then less of an angle, so about like something like this. And then we can put that right there. This is over here and see if it's all down you still have that much to have to be able to get things in and out so I think that will be good for that one let's do this one so this one will be let's see about here let's try now that I know that I need a less of an angle I'll try to do this see if we can get it done in one cut this time so about right there is where I'm going to cut, but not such a big angle. So about like this. Okay. So this one would go about like, oh, that's perfect. Yeah, that's good. I like that. Perfect, perfect. Okay. I think I need to straighten that up a little bit, though. This sliver right here. I still have all the flowers that I wanted, those two. So I'm going to go ahead and glue this down with a little Fabri-Tac right here. 
Let's glue this down. These are going to be sewn down too, but I'm going to glue them so they stay in place while I'm sewing. This is not empty. It's just, you know, got to get it down, ready to go. <laughs> Okie dokie. Let's see. So exciting. All right, let's see. I'm covering up. I don't want to seal my envelope closed here, so I'm just trying to put it right on the corner without kind of getting glue into that opening because I'm still aiming for pockets there if possible. And with this wallpaper on both sides, it's pretty strong, so I think there's a good chance I'll be able to leave those open. We shall see. Let's see, this needs to go up a tiny bit. That's right on the bottom edge there, okay. And then this one. Can't wait to get to my sewing machine and sew this together. I think we're going to get it done during this video, so I'll be able to show you. Let me hurry up and get this on there. <laughs> I'm not hurrying, but you know what I mean. I would really like to do the sewing right now during this video. Okay. All right, so that's that. Now I need the, so I'm going to do this. So what I do, I know you all have seen me do this before, but in case you're new, uh, I'm going to put that right in the middle. I'm going to do the outside first, I think. I have a little piece over the top here. Oh, I can do that over the, let me, um, usually I do the extra over the bottom. So how do I do that? <laughs> Bring it up here. Yeah, that's how I usually do it. Bring it up, have your extra at the bottom, like an inch. So I, then I fold that up, you know, and then over, and you have a nice smooth top here. And the, then that bottom, in the, you know, the bottom needs that extra piece there. So let's, I want to do the, uh, let's see, I want to do the outside first, so I know exactly where, because this is the most important part of where this is going, because I don't want it to cover up my little, flower here, my little flower focal point on the front cover. So, but I want it in the middle. So let me get this in the middle. I've got my little, get my little inch under there. Get it in the middle. And then I'm just going to go ahead and put some, these are to protect my surface. In case you're new and you haven't seen me do this before or work on my desk, I protect my cutting mat with these little uh, pieces here so let me grab my art glitter glue because I'm afraid the I'm afraid the uh, fabric tech might show my through my fabric here because this is a thinner fabric and so this is this will work on fabric especially a thin fabric like this this art glitter glue I have glue um, you know glued fabric down with this uh, art glitter glue it just depends on the fabric so you just have to kind of know if you're new you just have to experiment and see what kind of fabrics it glues down for you this sheet is just a cottony a cottony a thin cottony kind of fabric so go right up there get plenty I want plenty on the spine because I don't want this to like fabric to bubble up or anything if I can help it at all I want it to be held down there so I think I'm going to smear it out a little bit with my fingers, too. Just so it's not any kind of lumps under there. Okay, that's... Oh, I pulled it out. Hold on. Get my inch under there again. So about right there. Okay, I'm going to hold that down. Try to hold it down. <laughs> and then bring this up over my glue there. Let's see, so see now this is when I need to position it a little bit. I want to pull it over a little bit here so it's not really on my, let's see, getting on it a little bit, I guess, but not, let me see, let me, if I, if I pull it right there, there we go, yeah, I mean, it can go over the edge, but not too much, let's see, I'm trying to see if I pull it way over here, off, totally off the flower, okay, that's probably where I want it. And then let me pull it down my inch here that's going to the inside. Okay. Yeah, I know I'm making this a little complicated. I just, I want this placement to be right here. And I think that 
that is good see it's not really the little frays are just barely going over the burlap and that looks actually really pretty yes I'm very detail oriented so it's like if you think I'm being picky it's just you know I'm not I try not to be that picky but it's just I'm very detail oriented so I can't help myself <laughs> okay now oh, there we go all right that looks beautiful all right, smash this down here on that part that's going to bend and I think I won't bend it right now I'm going to leave it to dry a little bit and then we're going to do this Let's see it's still good over the pockets and everything and so first I'm going to glue down this little piece because I want this under this little inch piece we left that folds over the bottom I want that under the part that we're bringing down so there we go and now I'm going to put some glue here for this piece we're bringing down over into the inside here here even though we're going to sew right there but I still wanted to have it glued down too okay so we've only got about six minutes left that I can record as far as I know <laughs> I said in my last video was it my last one or the one before that or something well no it was last weekend I said or Monday or two Sunday I said, I'm going to experiment because I have a different phone I'm recording on now. And I, want, I need to experiment to see when it cuts off. But I don't want to do that when I'm actually doing a video, right? I have to do that off video. Okay, let me get this straight. All right, that looks good. Now, I'm going to need a little bit more glue here. Right here. All right, and I don't know how much sewing I'm going to do on the spine, so that's why I want to go. I can do this later too, but why not go ahead and do it right now under the edge here? Okay, and then I've got a little bit right here that I need to cut off. See how it's sticking over? So I think I'd like to try to tear that. I don't know if I can tear that little piece though. Let's see. So it needs to be torn or cut. Well, I'm just about cut the whole thing. It's not going to be straight if I do that. Okay, I might have to. I'm just going to have to cut it because I already cut that far, like halfway through, and I cut it crooked. So I just need to cut it all the way across. Okay, that's done. Now I need to glue it down again. I don't know if I did, but if I did, it didn't work. So we'll put some more glue under there. Okay, I'm going to go sew, because I only have like four minutes left. I'm going to go sew, and then I will bring this back and show it to you. I'll be right back. Okay, my friends, I am back from the sewing machine, and I have finished sewing, and I think it looks really pretty with that color of thread that I showed you before, uh, that I sewed this, you know, I had sewed around this flower uh, before in the last video, working on this journal, the first one. This is only the second one, but see, here's my stitching. Guess what? I did close up the pockets. <laughs> yeah, it didn't look right. I, just, I thought about it, and first of all, it didn't look right. Plus, I want to put, I think I thought about my closures, and I think I want to put some eyelets here. So leaving those open for pockets really wouldn't have worked. But it's a nice sturdy cover with the two layers of envelope and the two layers of, of wallpaper. Plus, you know, this makes actually another layer on the front here. And then we have the envelopes and we have the fabric. Here's the inside, how it looks right now. And so, yeah, I think it's, you know, getting prettier and prettier here. I think it's really nice. Here's the spine. I sewed on either side of the spine. And here's the back. So you can see, I think it really needed that stitching over here just for looks too. Besides it, you know, everything's nice and sealed there and sturdy too with that there so I like it so next time we're going to work on the uh, I'm probably going to go ahead and put the eyelets in because I use 
that my favorite new kind of what I've been doing lately is using a little, I you have a um, eyelet setter with it and I use a hammer. <laughs> so that's a little noisy to use on video. So I'll go ahead and set the eyelets. Hopefully I have some and um, I'm going to try to use some of this fabric here, which I should have this big square left. So I should be able to use that as the tie closure. So we'll do the eyelets to tie closure and uh, then we'll get on with the pages. But thanks for watching today. I'll see you next time. Have a great day and happy crafting.